Welcome back to Goldmine, guys. This is probably like our 30th or 40th episode of this series. She's rolling good. And last episode, I was completely gone. I was on a business trip looking for new mining land. And Nate, Buck, and Happy got this conveyor belt system set up for us. It was a big investment, but I think it's going to pay off pretty darn well. So it's running all the way from our pay dirt pile, all the way through my front yard, coming over the hill into the wash plant. This is going to be able to keep at least that pay dirt pile running 24-7 with no extra manpower or woman power when we have buck running. But the other mine over there will still require some labor running it. Now that we have all this set up, we're going to go over to our island that was haunted a little bit right over there and dig out some more pay dirt and set up a new wash plant. Sorry to interrupt, guys, but American Farming launches tomorrow, November 24th. If you guys know, this is a game I've been building for the past three years because I want a really solid American Farming game. Simple as that. It's going to be available on the App Store and Google Play Store, and I'm going to be streaming it all tomorrow and then making a bunch of videos on it. Check it out. I'll see you guys November 24th. Happy. Have you seen Buck this hey, morning? I have not. I assume he's still in his house. Yeah. Is Nate here? Uh, I've seen He's in the truck. He just drove to get the tailings, I think. I just made coffee. You want one? Yeah. Nate put his special sauce in here or no? No, he wasn't in here. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go figure out where Buck is quick. Based off his name tag, I'm pretty sure he's still sleeping in his house because that's where his bed usually is. Now we got to figure out how to pr play a prank on him. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Just a little more. Just a little more. Good enough. Just drop it. Okay. Good. Back out. Right there. Good, good, good. Oh. All right, Get, let's go. go. Get out of here, boys. <laughs> oh. I knew this Volvo was a smart decision. Buck, it's 7.59, man. You're supposed to be at work at 7.30. What you doing? Hello. What you I doing? You, I worked late last night. Okay. I'm just going to sleep in for a little bit. Put your clothes on and get out of here, man. We got some work to do. I saw a sleep in the frying pan. Okay, which one of you lowlifes decided <laughs> to mess with my truck for the 60th time? I have about had it with you guys. It's a beauty, Buck. Just drive now it I gotta off get there. new shingles, now I gotta get new gutters, now I gotta get new suspension. I'm probably gonna get hey, a new truck. If you do good today, we'll get it off at the end of the day. Uh, no, you're gonna get it <laughs> off the roof right now. Oh, Buck, you want me to get it off right now? I can go get it off for you. Okay, so while those guys are focused on getting Buck's truck off the roof, I'm gonna start moving some gold around. Okay, we'll move the last pal to concentrate, and then once we speed up some time to like a normal number, like 5x, this thing will really get going, and probably Nate's gonna have to stick around and keep this thing moving. And we'll dump her out. Okay, so we're heading over to the island quick. We're gonna load up the D6. Every time I drive under that uh, that conveyor belt, they, it lags me out, but we're gonna load up the D6 dozer here and get that moved over, and we already have some equipment over on the haunted island. Cops took care of the guy that was stole Buck, and. And Buck forgave the guy, too. The guy's in jail, but uh, the island's not haunted anymore, so we should be good. Buck and Nate are hopping in, and they're sitting next to each other in the back because they're best friends. And we're no, off. No, he's just trying not to throat punch me right now because he's thinking that I took his truck. You did take my truck. I, I didn't take your there. truck. How does, how does a perfectly good Ford go missing? This is just a casual day gold mine, boys. And this is how it always is. It's two are like old men. Old woman. So we're going to try and bring this whole semi across here just to have the semi on the other side. So Happy's going to try driving across here. Get her up there. Come on. He should fit. There we go. Good. Buck, you want to drive across with the Duramax quick? Yeah, let me scooch up to the front. Okay. Oh, on, Nate. Nate's going to back up the barge quick. There we go. Happy Buck, may have would have made it's it gonna be tight. Buck, it's going to be tight, Buck, but I think you can fit. There we go. Oh, come on, fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, that's your go. trailer in the water, but I don't I don't really know what you want to do about that. There we go, we're good. Okay, we are on the barge on our way over. Actually, Nate. Oh, man. Nate, oh, no, Nate say, never mind. take us around. Take us around to the backside, actually. We're thinking we're going to put our wash plant on the other side of this island and then put a road right through the island. Hey, boys, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but uh, we may be a little heavy. Yeah. And by a little heavy, I mean the entire barge is underwater. We're good. Just just keep swimming. You hanging on better, bud? Yeah, the dozer's a little sketchy, but we're going. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Okay, so we got to the bank. Nate's going to kind of get us up to the edge, and then Happy's just going to drive this semi straight off of it. Beat you a little bit, maybe. Come on. Stop. 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 Okay. Right, right there, Nate. Right there. 
Hey, we'll sit third. you down on top of the welder and the oxygen tanks. We'll pull you off. That's smart. Hey, it's about the only idea we got right now. Good, 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 good. Oh, we go. stupid. Here we go. We're going. That we're going. is stupid. No, no we're going. way. We're going, boys. And she's off. Okay, Nate, just park her right there for now. So the first thing we got to do here is be able to make a good connection with this barge, which means we have to, like, take the dozer and make a nice ramp here so Nate doesn't have to head dive into the water. So that's our, our first mission right here. There you go, Nate. This well, man knows how to work a dozer. Water. Okay, so we got this pathway pretty much designed and cleared out all the way through the woods, all the way back to our mining operation over there, the mine site. Now we need to come through here and clear all the trees so we can get all of our equipment through there. Okay, so Nate got this whole thing done. Now I'm going to head back with the truck and grab that uh, T-Rex. So first things first, while those guys are doing that stuff, I'm going to get hooked up to the smaller gooseneck because that allow us to actually pull this thing on the barge where the longer gooseneck just takes up way too much space. And we'll get the T-Rex loaded up. It's a little bit for the Chevy, but I think she can haul her. We'll see. There we go. Should be good. Okay, so we got here with the Duramax. We're just waiting on Nate. Honestly, what we should do is get two barges because we got to keep crossing this thing. And sometimes we're using barge on the other end. And it'd be nice to have a second one. I mean, that second barge is always up for sale. How much was it? It was a million dollars. If you want, we can go send Butt to go buy it real fast, or we can send Happy. All aboard. There we go. We are on. Okay, so we're going to send Happy with probably a million dollar check to go buy that other barge so we have two of them. For now, this barge is working. Perfect. Merci. Beaucoup. Okay, so first things first, we got to get this path cleared. I think we're actually changing plans. Happy's going to go build our mining site, and then Buck's going to um, Buck's gonna look pretty. There we go. All we're doing is just taking this T-Rex and clearing all these trees along here. Okay, so we got the pathway all done. Happy is currently building out this whole mining site. We're letting him control the job and he's got our, he's got the wash plant all built out here. You can see it goes in the river and he's just getting started. He's got two ramps going up on this side and then he's got like a ton more work to do, I think. Okay, so while those guys are working, I'm back at our other wash plant site and filling this pile. At some point, we're gonna need to actually move these conveyor belts around a little bit and get them closer to this big pile because we've already used a lot of this pay dirt material and it can't reach all the way out there unless we use the payloader to move it a little bit closer like I'm doing here. Okay, so about two hours later, I made a call to a friend and this might work good. Right now, we don't own this thing. We're just borrowing it on rental literally for zero dollars right now because it's one of our buddies that owns this D10 dozer, but we hold it in and we're using it to see if it's gonna work good to actually move some pay dirt around. As long as it don't fall off the backside here. I'm thinking this is gonna work good. Look at this, to push pay dirt up here and really form a pile. That way we don't have to move the conveyor belts too much. There we go. We can just pile a bunch of pay dirt right here and just keep pushing it towards the conveyor. It's actually working. Not too bad. Okay, that should be enough pay dirt. And then once once it's empty, then we'll just come back with the dozer and keep pushing it. It's actually working pretty good. This can, thing can move about 30,000 liters at once, which um, I'm stuck. But anyways, um, 30,000 liters at once, a payloader bucket. I think there's eight or like 10,000. I gotta check with Nate. Okay, so we've been going like crazy. It's 9.16 and we have a meeting that we called at 9.17 in the main office coming up here. Everybody's rolling up. We got Buck rolling up in his new truck. We got Happy rolling up. Buck. None of you better touch that thing, all right? I paid half decent money for that. You got a new truck already? Uh, not necessarily new, it's used, but it just cost me enough that I had to pay the premium. Okay, so plan is we need to figure out a manager for each site that can run it and takes full responsibility of each site. And that way the other two guys can just kind of go like, you know, help out the manager or something like that. Who wants to be manager of the new, what, what should we call it, island site? Call it the island. Uh, question being, after this, do we have to move and technically live down there? No, or do we no. all just kind of... You're okay. just... You take full responsibility. You call the shots on the site. Okay. Who do you think...
takes over the island site. Who do you guys best vote for island site? Okay, if it's Buck, jump on three. One, two, three. Okay, we got one vote. All right, thanks for your faith in me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Nate. I have faith in you. Who votes for Nate? Okay, we got one. Okay, who votes for this Happy to take over the island site? Okay, we got two votes. Okay, either between Buck or Nate on the main site. This is not a tough one. Wait, so this you're the other one that's going to go take care of it. No, I'm just going to be the guy that ventures out for new sites. I'm not taking any responsibility of this stuff. No, 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 no. You gotta have some obligations. You're the whole entire, you're the entire operation as to why we have money going out the door everywhere. We're unorganized. We have dirt slinging everywhere we go. Okay, well, here's the next newest excavator we got on the site. Hey, don't we want to go buy that place up the creek? Hey, let's go dump $5 million into an excavator that we have no use having. You're the, you're 95% of the problem. I provide the capital for the new site. And then you manage the capital on each site. That's if Bruce how it Wayne works. had a horrible marketing manager, you would be him. Your kids still have food on the table. You got to be happy with that. Yeah, because I'm scrounging every penny I can get out from you. My uh, my house doesn't have air conditioning. You want us to play a sad song with a violin or something? Or yeah, I'm still in that stupid do small it. house over there. In my personal opinion, I think Nate should have it. Yeah, I agree. Watch, that means for you, Buck. Your mind's still out there somewhere. You just got to find it. So, the official managers of the mines, Nate's got this mine. Happy has the island mine, and then we're going to still search for a mine for Buck to run pretty much and be the manager of. Basically, we're going to take all the money that these mines are making and just kind of keep piling it up and stuff, and then eventually we'll invest in a third mine and keep things going because we are expanding like crazy. Okay, so I haven't showed you guys this, but here's the finished product of the island mine. Now, Happy built this mine um, mainly himself. I think Nate and Buck helped, but uh, he did all like the buildings and stuff like that. So we'll give you guys a full tour. Right now, we don't have much money. We have $800,000. All right, so as you came in, you can see this big shop here. You open up, it's just a lot of storage. It's uh, one of the biggest buildings I've ever seen. Uh, just a nice shop to work on vehicles and uh, keep them out of the weather. You come this way, you got your uh, wash plant over here. We've got a drive over system to make it easier to unload. Oh, you can literally drive across this thing? Up. Yeah, you drive across it. Oh, dang. Okay. And then, of course, you got your uh, gold rooms over here where you turn the concentrate into gold. Not very fancy, but uh, it's looking pretty good. And then, do we have fuel storage too? I think we still have to buy those. Okay. We'll have to order those and get those in here at some point. And then here is the barge like loading and unloading point because really the only way to get to this island is on barge. And so it's kind of over here. This works good. Nate and Happy and Buck, they all got this done right here. You mean Happy and Buck watched me do all the work <laughs> and then critiquing me the entire time. Is that what you mean? Okay, if we want to set the record straight, I built that whole thing by myself and Nate and Buck didn't do anything. You're right, and we critique you. Now it's time we watch Buck build something and we critique you. All right, exactly. So we got the shop that's like enormous. It's like 200 by, I think, 90 wide, which is perfect. That's big enough for this island. But inside, we got little living quarters too. It's kind of neat. We don't have like somewhere to stay, like beds and stuff. So we're thinking, well, we're going to see how much money we have left over, but we're thinking about buying some campers and stuff for the guys to sleep in outside. Okay, so currently we don't have enough money to fund this place and the equipment. We have one rock truck and one excavator. So we need to head up to the old mine and we need to go and keep mining, get some cash to be able to fund the equipment of this place. Okay, so like I said last video, we got a second barge and this is gonna work perfect. It's a lot bigger barge. It almost expands the island. It literally covers the river almost, but it'll work good for transporting like other materials out onto the river and then eventually to the oceans. Okay, here we go. We should be good. There we go, we'll climb up there and then we'll just drag the trailer on. Perfect. Guys, let me know down in the comment section if we should just start building a bridge or if you guys like us around barges. Because Nate's got to turn this 200 foot barge around in this tiny oh, river. And we made it to the other side. Last one of the top's a loser. All right. <laughs> Bucks the ref. I got a trailer behind me. Oh, uh, we're going to get beat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're just sending it. Oh, no. Well, we lost, boys. So right now, Nate's just running like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to get this mine rolling. Still, we're having some issues with conveyor belts a little bit. Buck's trying to get all the gold loaded up now, and I think he's got enough for the 150. It's time to bring in the big boy, the Dirt Max, and get that loaded up. So while those guys are doing that, I'm gonna go run the dozer um, so we can keep pushing pay dirt into these conveyor belts, because right now, that's kind of what we gotta do. The next person that touches these conveyor belts without my permission is gonna not like me anymore. Cause I'm I don't like you anymore. now. 
I'm gonna go quick and we're gonna go buy probably two campers for the island boys. Happy you're gonna have an AC now. I got the Duramax pulling two Outback campers. We bought them, they're, they're, they're pretty standard besides they both have two ACs. And basically if there's guys working down there, they can stay in these. So at first I'll take it to the mountain site and then eventually we'll take it over to the island site where they'll officially stay. Race to the top buck, two campers versus a utility top. trailer. Three, two, one, go. And we're off. The 150, the EcoBoost. The EcoBoost is screaming. The turbo is firing and the Duramax can't keep up. Come on. Come on. What turbo? All I hear is screaming eagles of five liters. <laughs> oh, she's got a V8 in her? Yeah, it does. You think I'd buy that Eco crud? Nate, how's the mine running? So I slowed down the mine to where she will run the pay dirt efficient enough where we're not overgoing. So we're steadily staying at the right amount of dirt going through. How's the, how's the dozer dozer pile working? Uh, I haven't had to go back there. Okay, I should have enough piled up at least to get us through, I'm going to guess, the next four hours probably. The only thing I think someone needs to do is go dump the tailings. Just dump over the side of the mountain. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we do. We just have this tailings unloading spot. All it does is we dump it and then it just goes down in this like big pond down here and it's, it's basically gravel. We'll just keep failing the tailings. I think I forgot to tell you guys, but we also got uh, like 2.6 or 2.4 million dollars from Buck once he went and sold that gold there. Buck, you're mowing in the middle of the workday? What else are we doing right now? My mine management is already fully under control. I have yet to receive orders for anything else that needs to be done, and now my yard's ready for winter. Okay, even though we said we were never going to do this to Happy, I think we're going to let him run the wheel loader. I know it's a mistake, but we got some time to kill, so Happy can kind of learn the wheel loader a little bit. Okay, so while Happy's trying to learn how to run the wheel loader, I'll start running trucks. There goes Buck with his uh, Kubota. Basically, our goal right here is to get as much pay dirt as possible so that we can get more and more capital to keep funding our island site. So while we got the automatic one going, it's a little slower than trucks it'll work good and then look at this so we got the conveyor belts going i'm dumping bucks coming up to dump we have three different sides we can dump into there we go happy's guys first dumping i think it takes like three scoops to fill a truck he's rolling though he's learning if he's gonna be a manager of a site he's gotta learn how to run the truck Oh, check this out. These boys are ready to go. And I talked to Nate, and he actually had to turn up the wash plant a little bit. I forgot what he did. He'd, he'd be able to tell you guys better, but the wash plant can't keep up with how fast we're going right now. And I'm out of here. See you, boys. Okay, efficiency, we're just gonna pull up as fast as possible to these guys, let them dump, and then, nah, my bad, good to go. <laughs> you gotta get closer. <laughs> there you go. Okay guys, we got this wash plant cooking right now. We got a lot of pay dirt being moved. I'm dumping, Buck's coming in for another load, like things are rolling smoothly. And once we get enough money, we'll buy some equipment for the island mine down there. But anyways guys, Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Definitely go check out Bucks, Happy's, Nate's channels down below. Link in description. We'll see you in the next one.